Holidays are to relax, but stress is mounting on our travel money. Those heading off abroad could be facing their most costly trip in years. I guess it's an inconvenience, but it's not going to stop everyone from sticking to what they arrange and to trying to get away maybe once or twice a year. You've got two children and, you know, you've got that cost to consider. It's a big part of your budget, so, yeah, I think it's, it makes a big difference. A typical dollar rate today is over 7% less than last year, a two-year low. And today's euro rate is down about 3%. Along with currency fluctuation, prices have also risen in many resorts. So a family meal for four on the Costa del Sol would have cost a bit over £40 last year. Now it's almost 60 That meal in Cyprus was just over £62, but is now above 73 you save for your holiday and you set your budget, then right at the last minute, you get whacked by these new lower exchange rates. But there are ways to lessen the impact. Thank you. Jasmine Bertels has some timely travel tips. So don't get your money at the airport unless you've booked it before online. The best thing to do is to shop around Banks are the obvious place to go for your money, but it's not just them. You can go to department stores, supermarkets. At the post office, one thing you can do is get a prepaid card where you preload it with money, and so you lock in the rate. But how far your money goes depends on where you go, with some destinations much kinder on the pound this summer. In Turkey, where the sterling is doing 6% better than the local Turkish lira compared to last summer, same with the Icelandic krona, where you can get 7% more for your money. But with the pound falling faster than a beach towel in some destinations, planning holiday spending is more important than ever. Chris Choi, ITV News.